Okay, question seven. So let's just rearrange this here. Let's put like the the x bits together, and then the y bits together, and then you've got plus eleven, and then equals zero. So we just need to think, right, so how are we going to get that bit there? Right, well, that's going to give me x minus 5 squared. Well, if you think about x minus 5 squared, that's going to give you, it's like completing the square, isn't it? So that's going to give you x squared minus 10x, and it's also going to give you plus 25. So I need to take away 25, because I'm going to get 25 too much. And then exactly the same technique over here. So then we're going to have y plus 2. And then we need to take away the 4, take away the 4, and then we've got plus 11, and then that equals 0. So if we just tidy that up a little bit, we're going to have plus 1 plus 2, minus 25, minus 4, and plus 11. That gives us blah, minus 18, which equals 0. Add the 18 to both sides x minus 5 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 18. So remember the radius squared is, is 18. So if I want to work out, so the coordinates of the centre are 5 minus 2. So 5 minus 2. And then this is root 18 and root 18 is 3 root Two. Right, now let's get on to the next part of the question. Lionel has equation okay, where k is a constant, given that L is a tangent to C. So in other words, we've got, we've got our circle from the first part, and then we've got this line that kind of, I don't know, it might cut across there or it might cut across there. All right, so k is going to have two possible values there. Right, okay. So how are we going to work that out? Well, we're told that y is equal to this. So just rewrite this, but instead of having a y, write 3x plus x, and let's just see where that takes us, okay? So that's going to give us what we've got. We've got x squared. We've got plus, right, just having a confidence, really, just to go and pop it in and see what happens. Um, and then plus 4 times 3x plus k, and then plus 11, and then that equals 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this lot out, tidy it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to jump a little stage here. Um, so we've got, whoops, 10x squared, right, because I'm going to get 9 from there, and I've got that one there, and then plus 6, right. Like I said, I've just jumped a little bit here sure you can manage this part um, and then plus k squared plus 11 um, and plus 4k equals 0. Um, I wonder if I can put the things, I wonder if I just write these together here just to make this a little bit nicer to work with. So I've got 6k plus 2 what I'm doing is I'm thinking about b squared minus 4ac, thinking about the discriminant in a moment. And and then we've got and then we've got plus k squared plus eleven plus four k equals zero. So what have we got? That bit is the c, that bit is b, and then that bit is a. What do we know? Well, we want b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. Because we're only going to just consider one of these for the moment. It's a tangent, so it just hits it at one spot. So that's got to be equal to 0. OK, let's just feed these into here and see what happens again. So we've got that squared minus 4 times, so that's 40, times c. So k squared plus 11 plus 4k, and we want to know when that's equal to 0. Right, if we multiply this out, tidy it up a little bit, again, I'm just going to miss a little stage here. That's going to give me 4k squared minus 
136k minus 436 equals 0. Right, to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to multiply both sides by minus 1. So let's have it the other way around. It just gets rid of those negatives. Makes life a little bit easier for us. Okay, now I just need to use... Oh, oh wait a minute, I can divide everything by 4. That's going to make life even easier. All right, so if you don't spot that, it will still work. It just makes life easier, that's all. Okay, now I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So what we've got to, all I'm going to do is use minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. I'm just going to plug those numbers in. When I do this, I always like write down, right, a is 1, b is 34, c is 109. So plus minus square root, what have we got? got 34 squared minus 436 over 2, and that will give me minus 34 plus minus 12 root 5 over 2. Oh, wait a minute. Just divide everything by 2 there. Just makes it slightly nicer. Oops, 6 root 5. So I've got the plus minus that. It gives me 2 answers to work with.